another video on how to extend your Wi-Fi signal in your home. This will be very interesting. Now, when you look on your screen right now, you will see where I have connected, I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi signal that the router um, is distributing, and that's a new router. Now, as you can see, the password that I'm entering there, it's found at the bottom of the router. So look at the bottom of the router and you should find the password. I click connect and then I wait until it says it's connected. As you know, there will be no internet to the router, right? Now, the next step will be to go to the web browser and type 192.168.0.1 and I will see this interface coming up in the web browser. The web browser I'm using is Google Chrome. Currently, it is asking me to create a new password. As you can see, I made the password very simple. Very, very simple password there, right? So you could do the same thing. Then I click start. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and click next because that is the wizard. I go ahead and click next. I select WISP, right? That option there. Then I click next. I go to select dynamic IP. Well, it is already selected. Then I click next. If you don't see next, you will have to close that little advertisement there. Click next there. Then it will automatically search for the strongest Wi-Fi. You're going to search for your Wi-Fi signal that is in your home. As you can see, I'm going to use smart room. I click next. All right. Now, as you can see, because my Wi-Fi doesn't have any security here, there is no security there. But if you're going to connect with security, you would have to, you, you, all that option would connect at the top there. I'm going to name the Wi-Fi now, the new route, I'm going to name it. As you can see, it is called Home Wi-Fi right there. And I'm going to also create a password. Very simple stuff. So I just create a simple password for me and my family. You can see there and doing a the password there then after that I just go ahead I copy that password then I click next then that's the status there telling me what is, what is happening then I'm going to let this page load All right here is I sped up the, um, the processing right here because of the video it would be a bit lengthy as you can see now my new Wi-Fi have been configured now it's for me to just enter the password Right, that's the password is correct. Then I click next. After hitting next, voila, I have internet. So I'm going to go to the web browser now to test if I have internet. And it seems as if I do. Do I have, wait, is that Google? Wow. Let me search the web for something. What's my internet speed? Yeah, and that is fast.com. And let me check my internet speed. Wow, that is pretty fast. And over 400 devices right now are connected to this um, Wi-Fi. So I think I'm good right now. So the device has been properly configured. So just to do a recap, I plug the, the router in, connect to the router's Wi-Fi. The password is located at the bottom of the router. After connecting to it, I go to the web browser, Google Chrome. Anyway, browser is, is good, but um, I stick with Google Chrome, right? You connect to your internet path IP address 192.168.0.1. You connect, and all the rest is simple, right? Thanks for viewing.